I have owned my Tesla Model 3 for over four months now, and back then the Model Y was not an option. Now it is available and it's out. So many people are considering the Model Y or the Model 3. So I wanted to drive a Model Y and give you my impressions, tell you what I thought about it from a Model 3 owner's perspective. So just for a point of reference, I have a dual motor Model 3 with the performance upgrade. So it has a pretty quick acceleration. It has the stock wheels, so they're the smallest ones. So the ride's gonna be as smooth as it's possible on a Model 3. And I guess that's really it. If you wanna learn more, you can check out the video up there. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a test drive and I will give you my impressions when we get back. So I just finished driving the Model Y. So I'm gonna talk about my impressions of it, what I thought and how it compared to the Model 3. So first of all, it is definitely a taller vehicle and it means that you're gonna see a little bit better over the road. You can get in easier. The doors are a little bit taller so you don't have to duck in as much. So it's a nice taller experience if that's what you're interested in. The front window, you can see a little bit more. For me, the sun visors in the Model 3 are kind of in the way. It wasn't a big issue in the Model Y. So you could see a tiny bit more at the front window, but you don't get a lot more visibility like you would in the Model X. Driving it was very similar to the Model 3. I knew just about where everything was on the car, how I could make my turn so I didn't hit anything. On the Model X, it feels a lot bigger and much harder to control. The Model Y is very similar to the 3 in how it felt on where everything was in relation to the car. One of the biggest things I noticed when driving the Model Y was the back window. It's very small. It's small on every single Tesla, including the 3, but it's very small on the Model Y. It's slanted at a very sharp angle, so it's hard to see a lot, and it's also tinted. That's a good thing and a bad thing. All of the back and trunk windows on every Model Y come tinted from the factory, but it's also harder to see out the back and when it's darker behind you since it is tinted. So it's a small window and it's dark, so it's a little bit harder to see. Mirrors on the Model Y are different than the 3. They're shorter and taller, so you see more vertical, but you don't see as much horizontal as you normally would. I did like seeing a little bit more above, but it is kind of difficult because they're not as wide. For me, I found the driving position more comfortable on the Model Y than the 3. It's just in a more natural seating position for extended periods of driving. I find it a little bit more comfortable. The passenger seat, I actually found less comfortable on the Y than the 3, just because you're not in a reclined angle as you are in the 3, so it's kind of hard to find exactly the spot to place your feet on the Y. I am 6'3", so it was nice to see that there's plenty of room in the driver's seat for me. I have the steering wheel all the way up and all the way out on the Model 3, where I didn't have to go to those extremes on the Y, so I did have a little bit more room. My favorite feature about the Y probably is the trunk. It's got a power liftgate, which is pretty awesome. I would definitely have loved that to come in the 3 standard, but we can always add one. There's a lot more room. That's really nice. It's about just as deep as the Model 3, but it's taller because it's a hatchback. The back window does come up along with the trunk. We get an extra pouch on the right side and we get a deeper cargo area underneath because the car is taller. Other cool things, it comes chrome deleted from the factory. We did that on this car and it looks awesome. So I think the Model Y looks pretty cool on that as well. But aside from that, interior and everything is exactly the same as the Model 3. Same computer, same screen, same steering wheel, same seats, everything is exactly the same on the inside and you wouldn't really know whether you're driving a 3 or a Y from inside the car. Let's talk about how it felt when you were driving. It's very similar to the Model 3. It does not have nearly as much body roll as the Model X does with its air suspension. This is a coil suspension so it's a little bit stiffer and it's a little harsher of a feel compared to the 3 because it does have those bigger tires, but it's very similar. It stays planted to the ground and you don't really feel much body roll at all. One thing that did surprise me about the Model Y is how loud it was. Not necessarily the road noise, but the electric motor. You could definitely hear the whirring of the electric motor in the back. Underneath the rear seats, you could definitely hear that it was much, much louder than the Model 3. You could also hear it when it was regenerating. So it's just those little things that makes it more of a pleasant experience inside the Model 3 because it's quieter, it's a little bit smoother, and those things is kind of why I do like the inside of the Model 3 a little bit better. So overall, I'm a really big fan of the Model Y. There's differences between the 3 and the Y. There's things I like about each. I like the trunk and I like the power liftgate on the Y. I like the performance and the handling of the 3 a little bit better. Inside, there's really no difference at all other than the seating position. 
I kind of do prefer the Y. If both were available at the same time, I would probably go for the Y over the three. But that is what I feel. Let me know what you think. If you have driven a Model Y and a three, your impressions of the two, um, drop those down below in the comment section. If you like this video, leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark and I will see you in the next one.